Ladies and gentlemen, Jesse Warden here. We are gonna make a Feed the Ducks game. I grew up in Maryland around the Chesapeake Bay and there were a ton of mallard ducks and it was your duty as a Marylander to feed the ducks. There were tons of mallards and they'd walk up to you and be like, yo bro, you got some bread? And I'd be like, yeah man, I got plenty. So you give it to him, he's like, cool man, you got any more? I'd be like, totally. And that was my childhood, was feeding ducks. So now we're gonna make a game that relives my childhood and teaches you a series of programming things. To create that, we have to create a a lake first. We can't have this black background. We gotta have a lake. So let's make a lake. We'll say new pixie graphics. Get them out. And we'll say lake begin fill. And we'll make a nice light blue. No, I didn't memorize this hex. I got it from sketch. And then we'll draw a rect. A rect is a rectangle. It's short for rectangle. So X and Y is zero. It's gonna start from the top left of the screen. We're gonna use the renderer, not the stage, to identify how big is our screen. How big are we allowed to draw? Now we can draw bigger, obviously, but we wanna draw exactly how big it is. We will add that lake to the screen. So now when we refresh the page here, we have a nice blue background. This, ladies and gentlemen, is our lake. So we're gonna have ducks swim on top of this. Now I've created a duck overhead view. Yeah, it's a nice mallard duck. So that's a female and that's a top view. Well, let's create a get duck function because we're gonna create a bunch of ducks. For now, we're just gonna get one and we're gonna pass in the stage so it can automatically add itself. A duck is a new pixie sprite. Now it's not gonna have any inter interactivity, but it is gonna load from the images duck overhead dot ping file and pings if you don't know i'll show you again they have alpha channels they're 24-bit images that have an 8-bit alpha channel that means a variety of pixels can show layers of transparency so you kind of get that smooth edge so that's what we're going to use a ping for pings are awesome there are new pings that actually can do jpeg compression even cooler so for now we'll say scale set at about 20 percent it's a gigantic duck and we want to have a bunch of these ducks. So we'll add the child to whatever stage you pass in. This would be a container. Bottom line is this is actually a parent. So let's, let's name it more appropriately. Add it to our parent, whatever that is. When we're done, we'll return the duck. Let's test this out. So basic duck. Get a duck. Pass in the stage. And we'll make her X and Y to 200. And her Y to 200. But it's actually app stage. There we go. So now if we refresh the screen, there's our duck. She's sitting right there. And if we want to create a bunch of ducks, we can use the good old Lodash trick. So I've installed Lodash already. So we'll actually get an array to hold these ducks. And we'll do ch -ch chain chain. Chain, if you're not aware, allows you to put an array in it. You'll notice that most Lodash methods pass in an array for the first parameter. So if you go to like, let's say, I don't know, pick one at random, drop, an array, first parameter, fill, an array, first parameter, head, an array, first and only parameter. So imagine if, you never had to pass that array and you could start composing or chaining these methods. We're gonna do that now. We're gonna give it a new array of five ducks or five items of nothing. However, we're gonna do a map. Now notice map usually takes the array as the first item and then the function that you're changing it to. We're not gonna do that. We're just gonna pass the function because the array is implicit. Woohoo! So we're gonna pass at that stage is the duck. Just see value for right now. So if we refresh the page, you'll see that there are ducks, actually five of them all on top of each other. Let's add some randomness. I'll get my random number from range function we did a while ago. We can put a start and an end and it gives you a random function. And then we'll make one more map here. Normally people with map return a new value. We're gonna return the same value. The map function is gonna take a duck, but it's gonna return the same duck that it got. We're just gonna modify it. Normally, you want everything to be immutable, but this is a duck. You want to be nice to the duck. You want to care for the duck. It's not immutable. It's mutable. It's loved. Random number from range. 100, 200. Now we return the same duck that we modified. All we did was modify its X and Y value and return the same duck. Now, yeah, much better. So now we got random ducks. The Z depth is a little off. Some of the ducks up top can be in front of the ones at the bottom, but that's okay. That's how you make a bunch of ducks, you randomly spread them out on the screen. That is how you create nice, pretty background. You draw rect, it allows you to draw rectangles. And we create a get duck function with the parent that we pass in. So it could be a container or the stage. We then use our random number function to set their position randomly. And we use lodash chain to create a new array of nothing, replace it with actual ducks. And then we take one more map and say, by the way, Go ahead and change the randomness. The Lodash methods automatically have the array as the first parameter. We don't have to actually add that. 